everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Haley and this is the house for hosting I don't know how you got here but I'm so glad you're here and I hope that you will head up and click that subscribe button because you're not gonna want to miss any of my uploads now today I am doing a very requested video an after party clean with me I'm going to take you along as I clean up the aftermath of my daughter's fifth birthday party and take down the decorations. This right here is after we've had several girls spend the night and they've gone through and played with the toys and all the things and just kind of left it a mess. We had a party for her when she turned five and this was the paint theme party. If you missed that video, I will have it linked at the end of this one so you can see all the decorations and cake and cookies that I made but we had a blast it was a lot of fun but now it is time to clean it up so the first thing that I'm doing is just going through her gifts and presents and I like to fold the bags that are reusable and save them for other parties we have two girls so it's inevitable that we get invited to other little girls birthday parties and anytime we can save these bags and reuse them versus having to buy more each time we go to a party or event, I definitely do that. So money saving little tip right there. Usually, honestly, I'll even save the tissue paper if it's reusable, but my stash has gotten pretty high and so I didn't need any. So we threw it away from this one. But I'm folding up all the bags and organizing those and then laying out all of her clothes in one pile and toys in another. Now let me say this first if y'all have seen in the past I did a playroom clean out you saw how many toys my kids have like it was literally sinful so when we had this party I made a point to tell the guests that were coming number one they didn't have to bring anything but if they chose to bring a gift make it something practical like clothes or shoes you know since she's in school now things that she needs and not as many toys and stuff like that now my five-year-old was a little upset about that but in the end I was very thankful that people listened and she got a ton of clothes because that is really what she needed and the last thing she needed was more toys so cleaning up I'm putting all her clothes in piles and kind of organizing that and then taking it up to her room and putting things away So after several trips of going up and down the stairs and back and forth, I finally had the bright idea to steal one of my baskets in the living room and throw things in that and take it up, which I should have done in the first place, but anyways. And then of course, fluffing the pillows and putting them back on the couch how I like it and vacuuming up the aftermath, which you always find little pieces of paper and just crumbs and things like that. I generally do not let the kids eat in the living room. But of course, at a birthday party, all rules go out the window and it is a time to just, I guess, let the kids act a fool and do what they want. So now here I am having to vacuum and clean the cushions and all those things. I will say we did most of the party outside. So thankfully there wasn't like any spills or any big messes that helped so much with my anxiety <laughs> because y'all know I do not do good with that. But all in all, I'm just kind of picking up and cleaning up and getting things back in order and in position how I like them. And then I'm gonna do the dishes. So I was so grateful. My husband stayed up late the night of the party and he put away majority of the food and washed my big like serving plates and things like that. But of course there was just smaller dishes that needed to be cleaned up. And to just make it seem a little bit cleaner and better, I did a little quick dishes, unload and load to kind of make it more organized and in order. And I love a clean kitchen. Y'all know my kitchen and my living room are open to one another, so like I've said before, if there's only two chores I can get done, it's my kitchen and my living room because that is a quick way to make my house feel clean. So a little side note, and y'all can let me know in the comments what you think, but I was trying to decide some upcoming video content ideas and kind of figure out what I want to do next we don't have another birthday party until december but we do a halloween party which is so much fun with the kids obviously in october so in september i'm trying to come up with some ideas for some good content and i've been thinking about organizing the closets and just like junk drawers in my house 
I have several areas in my house that have just been neglected when we moved in. Like we stuffed boxes in places and honestly, there's places that still have boxes that haven't been unpacked. And I also need to clean out my attic and I would love to do a yard sale in September. So I'm thinking about filming kind of like an organization series where I pull things out and go through stuff like that and maybe even a attic clean out video. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in or you think that I should be working on because you always gotta get done anyway, so let's just be honest. So I've also been trying to incorporate YouTube shorts on my channel as well. And I have several that I have made just from the like decorations and crafts that I've done for the party. So if you haven't seen them, head over on my channel and check that out. And then be on the lookout because I have a few more that I'm going to be making. My take on the YouTube shorts is they're pretty similar to like reels on Instagram or little TikTok videos. I'm not the best at doing the TikTok videos, but I've made several Instagram reels. And so I'm trying to do the YouTube shorts as well. They're fun. They're just little quick videos and you can add different music to them. But I like it for when I'm showing like a craft or something that I've done that I want to teach you how to do and it's just a shorter form content so like I said if you haven't checked out my YouTube shorts on the decorations for the party check those out and then be on the lookout because I have more coming as well And now we're on to the decoration takedown portion of the video. So this was the name banner that if you saw in the other video I made that says Marley, which is our daughter's name. And for the eye, I used a paintbrush, which it turned out so cute. I used my mom's Cricut to make this banner. And I love having banners on the fireplace for just the various of events, like birthday parties. I like it to have the kid's name showers just say like welcome baby and stuff like that um i actually got one the other day from the dollar store that was like marked down on clearance there was a football one that i thought was cute and i think would be fun for like the super bowl we don't really do a big super bowl party but we like to have family over and eat because to me that's what the super bowl is about is the snacks and the commercials and the halftime show but anyways i love a good banner over the fireplace and so I'm taking it down now and I'm trying to keep all of the string together because there's no reason to waste it. It can be reused for another banner or gifts or just anything else because we are always doing crafts. And now that both of my kids are in school, they're going to need string, yarn, all kinds of stuff. Y'all know how it is for when kids are in school and they have a project. I really hated to take this balloon garland down and for the record this one stayed up the least amount of time if you have been here long enough or you've checked out my blog then you know when I do a balloon garland these things end up staying for like at least a month if not longer <laughs> I'm the world's worst at taking them down partly because it takes so much effort to get them up there and I just love how they look and it's fun the kids like it too but Today's the day, all the decorations are coming down, so the balloon garland is coming too, but I wanted to show y'all as well a little clip of how I actually hung it. So I used twisties on the side of the paint bucket to connect it to the curtain rod, and then fishing line to hold it up as well, just for some extra support. It's not super heavy, but it helped it have the position I wanted, and I taped the pull noodle with duct tape on the inside of the bucket. The pull noodle gave the balloon garland the arch that I wanted to give it the look of paint pouring out of the bucket. And I just used fishing line to connect the garland to the pull noodle. If you have never made a balloon garland and you're kind of curious as to how to make them, I have done a video that I will also link at the end of this one that is like, a t it has a tutorial portion, if I can get my words out. It has a tutorial portion of the balloon garland in it. It was a video on like how to host a party and just fun tips and things like that because I love to throw a party. But like I said, any party I have, I do a balloon garland and I have a tutorial on that on how you can create them. So if you wanna learn that, check that out on that video.
This was the tassel garland and it turned out to be a big hit at the party. This was my first time making one of these and I made them from tablecloths. I shared a YouTube short on how I made this and then I also had longer form content on the party video showing me make it as well. But as the take it down, I'm going to be popping the balloons and I'm using the hammer to pull out the thumbtacks that I have in there. It's really not necessary that I use the hammer. I can pull them out by hand, but it just makes taking it down a lot easier and faster. And so as I'm taking it down and popping the balloons, I'm trying to kind of keep my tacks in hand so that I don't drop them on the floor because I don't want to miss one and anybody step on it. And I was pretty successful, only dropped two, but I was able to find them. So the cleanup of this was pretty easy and fast. It really didn't take that long to put it up either. So. The longest it took was making them, but once I kind of figured out how I was doing it, it went pretty fast. But I loved the various colors and the way that it hung, and I couldn't believe that it was out of tablecloths. I mean, it looks really good, so try that for your next party. And then I'm going through and cleaning the beam. This is a white beam between my kitchen and living room, and I've used it various times to hang things for parties. I've hung the balloon garland here before, but... When I get done hanging, like it just has handprints on it, so I like to use Windex to kind of wipe it clean. And then for storing my tassel garland, I'm just trying to kind of wrap it around. Now, I use twine and I just tie them together so that I can easily take them apart and have separate colors if I wanted to for different events. But I think I'm gonna store it all together and just kind of wrap it. You don't wanna bunch it up or just crumble it because they are out of tablecloths and they'll get wrinkly. So I'm trying to keep it as clean and put together as I can. So I bought these little tissue pom-poms off Amazon and I think it was a set of 15 with like various colors and sizes. And you have to, like they come fold it up and you have to pull them apart to make the little puffs like of the tissues. I've actually made these before and I didn't pay attention when I was placing the order. I was thinking I was buying like the lanterns, but no, I got the tissues, which it was fine. It turned out, you know, fine. It went with the colors and everything worked out good. It did take me a little bit longer to have to pull apart the tissues. Thankfully, I had one of my friends. We just made it a little girl's night. We sat down and kind of fluffed up all the tissue, but if you've ever done these before, you know you have to be careful when you're pulling them apart because they can tear pretty easy, but once they were apart and they were hung, everything looked good, so I mean it didn't matter that I didn't use the Laren ones, but I will save these and I will reuse them for another party as I do most all my decorations, which that's another good video that's probably going to come up maybe in the organization series is me organizing like all of my party decorations and things that I have collected because I generally try to save most things if I can and just reuse them for different types of parties. So this was one of the easiest decorations to take down and it was the life-size paintbrush broom. I just pulled the pool noodle out from the broom and took off the little ribbon and then put the broom back in my pantry. But I thought that one was super simple and super cute the way you make the broom look like a big paintbrush. But again, like I said, I try to save most things that I can and these tablecloths came from Walmart. They're kind of like a metallic look to them and a little bit thicker than just your regular plastic ones. I had this silver one and I have a blue one that I use and so I try to keep them clean and fold them up and reuse them. They're not that expensive but still if I can reuse it and I don't have to buy it again then I will. And then these balloons I got from Kroger came with an astronomical amount of string in various colors. Initially I was going to throw it all away and then I thought you know what no I'm not. I'm going to save it because I can make some cute bows with this at come Christmas time, birthday parties, anything like that. So again we're saving that. The flowers though, I loved this. Like I'm totally gonna do more flower arrangements for parties in the future because it turned out so cute. And I wish I could save these flowers and I know I could draw them and keep them, but it just wasn't worth the hassle. So saying goodbye to the flowers too. And then the little number five, which actually was a cake topper that I got from Hobby Lobby, 
just was the perfect arrangement piece for this flower arrangement that I had in the main table in the kitchen where most adults and people ate. And then the paint buckets turned out so cute. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with those. I guess I'll hold on to them if anybody else does a paint theme party. Or maybe I can put them in the girls' rooms for decoration. I've got to figure out what to do with that. But just cleaning out the water and the flowers and just cleaning up this mess. So the last thing for the party cleanup was washing out the paint cans and just cleaning them up after having the flowers in them. They weren't super dirty, but I did need to rinse them out and kind of wash them away so that they could be put up and stored appropriately. But I really hope that y'all have enjoyed this little party cleanup video. Like I said, it was requested by several people. Even after I did the first video on how to host a party, several people asked that I did like a party clean with me or a party cleanup video after the fact. And I honestly had never thought about it until now, but it was fun just to take y'all along with me and show you kind of how I clean up the aftermath. Again, most things I kind of keep up for a while. The party was a few days before my daughter's real birthday, so I really wanted to keep up the decorations so that she had them for her party or on her, on her actual birthday. But this is it. I don't know. I feel like it looks so plain and empty now that everything's gone, but... I've got a lot of plans for DIY stuff for my home, but anyways, just stay with me, subscribe so you can see what happens next, but thanks so much for being here, guys. Until next time, bye.